what? You know what? I knew. <laughs> Hell no. The, I, I the said, girl's dead, I, boy. I, I, I said. Shitting all over it, man. New album out right now. Call. Watch me put a rapper in a suplex. I'm killing these lames. I am the real slim shady in my Eminem face. Just salute me when you see me like it's Veterans Day. All these new rappers sweeter than some lemon meringue. If the show's not litty, then I can't go there. I'm more hated than the rapper with the rainbow hair. Tell amigos I'm robbing them for Quavo share. And tell Offset I'm gonna need a bank loan player. Man, I feel like Lil Dicky. They must take me for a joke. I'll wake up a scar face and put a blade inside your throat. Someone tell Khaled that I'm hacking his Snapchat so I can tell these whack motherfuckers they can't rap. And then I'm posting all these memes on the story. Well, I shit on the toilet and I just leave it recording Cause I'm a sick fuck, big gut to boot Fuck me, K. Cool, and fuck you too You smoke weed with the stems and the seeds You flow dirty underwear, you at the end of your street Bitch, I'm Butterbean, you don't wanna wrestle with me I'm drinking 50 cents vodka, you ain't effing with me Catch me chilling in Miami with my Florida-based kid Young Bull, I'm in lanes even Tory ain't in Like ha 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 All these rappers doing Xanax, na 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 So you know, when you see these type of trucks right here, and and you see them with the uh, with the bake, I call it bacon. You know what I'm saying? Pork chops, ham hocks. Y'all know what I'm saying? This is their final ride right here. I mean, I, I couldn't do this type of job, but this job right here is money. It is money. Livestock, live cattle. This is money right here. Saying I don't know how much money. My problem is, is that if I was to drive this truck, I would feel some kind of way. I know when you, when you see these trucks right here, these live cattle trucks right here, when you see them, you you know where they're going. You know where they're going. They this this right here is their final ride. From the they about to go, they about to get clean, and they about to be they about to be served at your favorite restaurant. I think this is the next call that I'm gonna do though. I gotta find out who drives that truck though. Mission right now is to find out who's driving this cattle truck. In the Hertz rental, I drive on the four oh driving that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I think I you know what? I knew <laughs> Hell no. The, I, I the said Carol's dead, I, boy. I, I, I said, hold up. I said, hold up. Hold on right quick. I said, hold up. I said, this man was coming out right here. I said, this got to be his truck right here. Yeah. All right, check this out. I got a couple, just a couple of questions for you right quick. All right, go ahead. All right, so how long you been driving? Almost 30 years. 30 years? You taking them to their final rest. I mean, you, you taking them to their final ride, right? Yeah, yeah, they're going, they're going to the slaughterhouse. I, yeah. I kind of figured that. Yeah. How would a person of my stature would get into driving livestock? Well, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Why would you want to do something like that? I'm, I'm going to say the money. Nope. Oh, wrong answer. Wrong. Okay, okay, here we go. Let them know. Well, it's... Yeah, you do generally make more than what everybody else does, but you're working a lot harder for it. You're getting it. That's why I keep this cover off on, you know, when I load it. You're always rolling in that mess. And in the winter time, you have to have your trailers washed out and disinfected in between every load. So in the winter time, you got frozen gates. When you go to load, you got to take a torch, go in there and uh, thaw out all your hinges. And then the winter sides, it's inside. You got to take them in and out according to what the temperature is. And when it's real hot, you know, it's just, I mean, you get in there and when it's 90 degree day, you know, and everybody else running around in t-shirts and everything, you got to get in a pair of these and get in there. And each one of them hogs is like a miniature toaster oven. The heat that they put off is unreal. Okay. 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 So in the winter time, yeah, but when the summertime, you think it's hot when you're standing beside your truck, you go crawl inside that trailer with a pair of cover hauls on, you can pass out from the the heat exhaustion, wow. you know, just doing that. So there's no reward in it, and you stink. And like I said, in the winter time, 
it ain't no fun and in the summertime it's even worse now let me ask you this now being that you're dealing with livestock are you getting are you getting paid by the load or by the yeah. mile or uh, by we or? get paid by the load i get paid a percentage that's my truck but i rent the trailer oh, okay. from, from friend and i run their dispatch okay but, so i get I get like 85 percent okay or more uh, kind of around 90. so being that you got to get up in there all the time so it's your job to pretty much keep them alive until you get right right you got to know how to load your trailer where you can put pigs and where you know how many you can put in each cut mm -hmm. is to keep them alive and then the thing that makes the whole thing want to you want to kick it right in the toilet is the steroids that they feed those hogs and it's called paling and that's why they're barking right now, raising hell, because they won't get off each other. When they, when you load them on there, they pile in there, and it, it it makes them crazy. When you go to unload them, they just sit and spin circles in there like they don't know which direction's up. And so it, is so is the pigs is all you haul? You you haul like yeah, cows? Or it, just... not, not anymore. I used to years ago. I hauled cows. I hauled calves. I hauled veal calves. Hauled boars and sows and. But these are just butcher hogs. These go into the to the packing house, and that they're about the simplest problem. If anybody, let's say, if anybody did want to get into something like that, uh, how would they go by it to finding out more about uh, cattle hog? Well, you just want to stop somebody, you know, somebody. Would you see one one time or or whatever? Or see somebody looks like they're dressed. Well, yeah, I'm not dressed very decent today. I, I, I wouldn't make a good salesman today, would there I? You it's go. cold, but you know. I'm, but hey, it's it's the information is sure. out there. But you would want to find somebody, and you'll know because there's a lot of these guys, you know, what they call bull haulers. That stuff goes straight to their head, you know. They big and everything like that, but. It, uh, you want to find the right guy, and if you start talking to the right person, you'll know within five minutes whether you, you know, this guy's full of it or whether he's giving you the straight line. Well, I but, appreciate the straight line oh, that you yeah, give. Oh, yeah, no problem, man. I wouldn't, there, there's no reward, there's no, no justice in it. The only reason I'm still doing it is because I've been driving truck 30 years, and I've been hauling livestock 25 of the 30. So, you know, it's, I don't like it, make a little bit better money but you you're paying for you're working for it. you're not one you're, last question yeah you 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 don't you you don't overnight you don't do no 10 hour with them this is no this no is I, I'm, I'm a local guy i live about 20 miles down the road and i used to all the time no i'm home every day i got that bunk on my truck and i probably slept in it maybe two or three times when we okay. got held up i took me a nap you know okay, okay. but I'm in and out every day. It gets to be some long hours, you know. If you want to work local, you're going to put in more hours. You want to be on the road, well, you're going to be gone, but you don't put in near as many hours when you're out there. Most of the time, you do a lot of setting. I got you. But, so, I'm sorry. There's no nothing good to say about this job just other than, you know, you might drive a fancy truck or trailer with lots of lights on it, but you, you're paying for it in the end. These type these type of cattle runs, they they, they automatic wouldn't work for that wouldn't work for that trailer, would it? Well, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you put whatever you want on that trailer. Is that what you're talking about? No, I'm talking about automatic truck. Oh yeah, automatic truck. Automatic wouldn't work. truck. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In a way, that'd be smoother because hogs. They get on there and they lay down. You, you're never going to find anything smoother riding than a load of hogs because their fat bodies absorb all the shock. And then, okay. of course, you got an air ride truck and an air ride trailer. Now, you put a load of cattle on there and you'll be like, what's going on? That truck will rock and it'll pound because those animals are standing on legs this big around and you're, you're talking 12, 1,300 pounds standing on four contact pads. You know, each one of legs like that. So, they're gonna ride stiff like they're gonna sway. You gotta watch how you go around your curves. You can dump load cattle without even thinking about it. Cause they're, and they're a lot higher. See them hogs, you see their backs? They're, yes. they're, they're all on the floor. They're only this high. Them cattle, I've hauled cattle before that were rubbing their backs in, inside there. Them big Holsteins we haul out of Wisconsin. Okay. Their backs would be rubbing them top bows up in there. So yeah, that puts your center of gravity way up there. So that truck's gonna rock and roll. Yeah. Well, one last question before I get you up out of here. You say you've been in the game for 30 years. Yeah. Trust safety, man. What, 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 I, what, what opinions or thoughts that you can give to, to these young cats to protect themselves out here? To protect themselves out here, I guess, 
Um, as far as making friends, you know, making a few friends, but you're better off to, to I, I don't want to say not be friendly, but if you keep to yourself and you do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it and you're not afraid to work, you're going to be all right. But this guy will tell you this and this guy will tell you that, but you, it, it's here, you know, everybody knows the difference between right and wrong and what common sense is anymore, that's the thing. Nobody has any common sense. Well, they say that, it's like, well, that guy's stupid. No, he's not stupid, he's just in a hurry. There you go. So, patience, and it's aggravating. It's really aggravating to try, you know, and have patience and bite your lip and get through it, but that's, uh, you know, just mind your business and do what you're doing. And then once you get, if you're starting out, once you get a feel for what you're doing and you, you think you got a pretty good grip on the game, why then, you know, expand out, do whatever you want. So. I appreciate the time. What's your name? John. John? Sean. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, you man. Hey, Thank I'll you very you much. You All right. I, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. And he just told the truth. The truth has been told. Do you guys want to get into in the live stock calling? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below.